Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Dr. Jalama Clark here at Wellness Medicine, where we are paving a pathway in medicine to build bridges to optimal health and wellness. The type of patients or people we're looking for are those who would love vibrant and optimal health. So this week, we have a great show lined up for you. We have a special guest who's going to be with us with Health Diagnostic Laboratories. His name is Austin. He's going to be giving us some great information about what he does here at Wellness Medicine. Also, we will be recapping a little bit about what we've talked about in the past couple of sessions. We'll have an update by DJ, and then we're going to talk a little bit more about our plans for DJ's 5K. And of course, to end it all, is what at the moment with Jay. So stay tuned. We'll be back in just a little bit. And remember, whenever you'd like to know more information about anything that we do here, please go on our website, which is wellmed.us. We'll be back in a minute. Well, here we are, and welcome back here at Wellness Medicine. And remember, if we ever, if you ever want to know more about what we do, please contact us at wellmed. Dot us, w -E -L -L -M -E -D dot us. So today, as we're going to embark upon our journey, more or less continue to bring to you the best of information, let's kind of go back and recap what we've done so far. We've talked about diabetes and, of course, prediabetes, and we've also talked about cardiovascular risk factors. And why are all these things so important? Last week, we did break it down a little bit more to even talk about when we're looking at inflammation markers and these different biomarkers and the different tests that we do to help you look at cardiovascular risk. Why is that important? Because they do lead to certain sudden events such as, such as heart attacks and also strokes. So... Our whole goal, more or less, is to be able to help you find a better you. The other thing I want you to keep in mind is diabetes actually has been considered a cardiovascular disease. So today I have someone very special that's going to be talking to us more about what we do here to help you. So, Austin, thank you so very much for being a guest on our show today. I appreciate you having me. And I always love sending patients to Austin because there's not anyone I haven't sent to him that really has not benefited. And what it is, what I find unique is that patients are losing weight and they're able to do it by just making a lifestyle change. So Austin, what is it that you do that really gives my patients such great success? Well, I'm a clinical health consultant with Health Diagnostic Laboratory, and so I think it's a, a pairing of two things. It's one, the blood test, preventative blood test for cardiovascular and metabolic um, disorders that we're trying to prevent the disease, and the consulting that I give them one-on-one -on -one as a nutritionist. Mm -hmm. Well, in your consulting, uh, I, I don't know what the, again, I have to talk about this little magic wand that you wave. It, were you trained a little bit different than maybe some other coaching or how how do you use your coaching technique to really engage the patients to want to do better? Good question. So we're we're taught motivational interviewing. So a lot of it's mm -hmm. we're interviewing the patient to get them to come out of their shell so they're comfortable to make changes. Because it, most of the time a, a patient will sit down with the dietitian or the nutritionist. They tell them what to do. They, they shut down, the walls come up, and they don't want to make any changes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and that's usually what I experience, you know, for the most part. So, you know, you do an excellent job of being able to break those barriers down. Um, and someone who is looking to be able to um, integrate your services or um, more or less lifestyle changes, what would you recommend for them? Um, well, it's individualized for every patient. And so a lot of the patients come in that are pre-diabetic, insulin resistant, you know, at risk for diabetes. And so I'll give them this, most of the time, a carbohydrate controlled meal plan mm -hmm. where I teach them how to carb count, teach them to limit to a certain amount based on, you know, male or female, and then give them the first few steps to, to start. Um, but you also do something with exercise too, right? You counsel with exercise as well. Absolutely. <laughs> and so what I'll do is uh, I'll kind of meet, meet them where they're at. We'll kind of we'll get an interview with them, see where they're at with exercise, how active they are, and then we'll take the next steps. So I'll, I'll recommend here's what you should do as the next step in terms of frequency, amount, intensity, 
and, and, and hopefully help, help them take baby steps in that direction. Good. Now, I actually pulled up some information from the CDC that basically states that there are about maybe 86 million people in the United States that probably have pre-diabetes. Um, and, you know, quite a few of them, maybe even nine out of ten, said they won't even know that. So, you know, can I get your thoughts about what do you think those numbers are in reference to pre-diabetes? And what do you think about pre-diabetes in general? Well, I think it's underdiagnosed, it sounds like. Um, I think that's the whole point of preventative testing is if we can catch it up front, see it coming in advance by doing, you know, advanced uh, preventative test markers like insulin, for ex example, being able to assess insulin resistance, then we can see it coming five to 10 years out before diabetes happens, before the glucose and A1C are elevated. Right, 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 right. And um, of course, you know, that makes me really happy here at Wellness Medicine because that's what we're really tuned into, trying to find the things before they really become into fruitation of a dis-ease process, not a disease, but a dis-ease. So when we're talking about these different lifestyle changes, um, diet plays a very important part. So you mentioned carbohydrate, you know, controlling the amount of carbohydrates. Um, anything else you want to speak on? What about protein? How important is protein in this process? Oh, extremely important. So most of the time when I'm encouraging them to cut down on carbohydrates, especially the processed carbohydrates, the simple carbohydrates, the sugars, I'm saying let's replace them with proteins. So let's do some lean meat, let's do some fish, let's do some turkey, some chicken, some some a uh, little bit of eggs, a little bit of cheese, just get a good variety of proteins because those are free. They don't have any carbohydrates in them at all. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, another question I have to you now, how do you integrate your coaching sessions with the labs? Great question. So um, based on what you want, Dr. Clark, is you want me to educate some of your patients on the lab markers. And so what I'll do is I'll start by asking them, hey, is Dr. Clark on the lab results? No, if not, then I will go over it with them, line by line, explain as much detail as they want, so they can walk away saying, okay, I understand all of my biomarkers, and I understand what to do about it, and then we'll kind of shift into lifestyle change. I'll say, here's nutrition prescription, here's the exercise prescription that will help you improve those lab results, you know, individualized to, to your issues. You know, and that is going to be really awesome. So one of the things that, that really makes me just have patients who have the, the red, yellow, and the green, uh, which are great visuals for them, and then have seen you and start really implementing some of these lifestyle changes and start seeing the shift, you know, to where they're seeing where there was red, they're seeing more, more, more of the green, and it's just really empowering to them. So how does it make you feel when you know that you've really empowered someone to make that type of change? That makes me feel great. It's uh, it's definitely a win-win because I feel like I can make impact on a patient that I'm able to add value to them by you know by seeing them come from red to yellow to green. Yeah, I feel yeah. awesome. This is another reason why I really always enjoy working with you all because you really your company really does have a passion for not just bringing the best of technology there, but also really giving some giving us as providers some tools mm -hmm. to really able to help our patients have better numbers. And at the end of the day, what it's going to really boil down to is just that, you know, what are your numbers saying? Mm -hmm. So what would you do to encourage people about, quote, unquote, knowing their numbers? Well, first, I want to encourage them to see you, <laughs> maybe Dr. Clark, and ask for the advanced preventative blood test so that they can, they have a hunger and knowledge to know more about their own health, own their own health, get the preventative blood test, and then sit down with me and they can understand it. Just awesome, awesome. So, um, you and, and definitely, you know, I would love for everybody to come see me, but now please understand me, I'm not the only provider, you know, who actually just feels very passionate about this type of lab as well and the type of testing that they do. So, again, you know, if you go to our website, wellmed.us, uh, we'll, we can contact you with providers that will be near you. So, getting back to you, Austin, now, um, I, I understand. We talk about diabetes from the uh, metabolic issue, but how do you see it from a cardiovascular issue and, and the risk that's involved with not having blood sugar control? Oh, sure. So if you're diabetic, you're already at two to three times increased risk of cardiovascular disease. And so it's a huge problem. So what I'll see in a lot of patients is they're already showing signs of insulin resistance and automatically their LDL particle count goes through the roof. And then they, the next step, they're pre-diabetic or diabetic, the LDL particles continue to rise and the triglycerides continue to rise. So we can kind of see those hand in hand. Mm -hmm. So it's really not treating one without treating the other. Mm -hmm. 
just amazing, amazing. So as we continue to embark upon this process of being able to look at, like I said, our diet and our lifestyle now, um, how important is exercise? I think exercise is crucial. And specifically, I mean, keeping blood sugar in control is great for with exercise. Uh, increasing your HDLs, mm -hmm. HDL particles, HDL cholesterol, crucial, lowering the LDLs, lowering inflammation in the body. So you can really see your tests go from reds to yellows to greens with with exercise alone. But of course, you know, bringing in that nutrition as well. Uh, just, just, just wonderful. Okay, so when we're talking about exercising, um, any tips to those who may be just starting out with wanting to exercise? Sure, yeah, I think a good first step is walking. So if you have access to a local gym or if you want to walk outside, if it, the weather permits, um, starting at maybe two days a week, maybe 10 minutes, maybe doing a lap around the neighborhood yeah. and taking it easy because if you overdo it at first, then you'll probably never want to do it again. Right? There you go, there you go. And what I really try to encourage people to do is I always tell them, you know what, let's go for consistency instead of intensity because sometimes you'll get out there and you just want to just, okay, I'm going to do, you know, this this two miles, but you know, if you've been sitting on the couch, you know, for five years, <laughs> you know, don't try it. Because they be in my office for some other reasons, and <laughs> we won't go through that far right now. Um, in reference to being able to help people become educated in reference to their diet and also exercising, um, how do you feel about vitamin deficiencies in this process? Well, vitamin deficiencies are, are really important. I mean, there's, there's a couple that are key. Uh, implemental connections to cardiovascular disease and diabetes, one being vitamin D, B12, folate, um, and then omega-3s. And so we're looking at those, and then you're recommending supplements to increase those. Or sometimes I, I can look at folate and see it's deficient and say, hey, we need to increase the, the greens and beans. And that's <laughs> easy for somebody to remember, and they okay. can go out and eat more, improve their folate. You know, that's, that's right. Now, one thing we've actually started doing here at Wellness Vets, we actually did start doing IV vitamin therapy, you know, as well. I'm really, really excited about that to be able to give um, people a better opportunity to have, you know, better absorption, you know, with vitamin for those who are deficient. So I am just looking for great, great success, you know, with our program and definitely with your program as well. And it is always just a pleasure to have you, and I just really, really appreciate it so much that you do for my patients and what you do here at Wellness Medicine. Absolutely. Thank you so very Thanks much. Thanks for having me, Dr. Clark. Glad to partner. <laughs> All right, so hold on a second. We'll be back in just a minute here at Wellness Medicine. Well, welcome back. Once again, I'm Dr. Jolanda Clark here at Wellness Medicine, where we are paving the pathway medicine to build bridges to optimal health and wellness. So we just heard some awesome information from, from Austin and what he does is just really phenomenal. He's part of our great team here at Wellness Medicine. So just to kind of recap, we've been talking about cardiovascular issues. We've been talking about, you know, diabetes. We've talked about pre-diabetes. We've talked about testing. Well, now, you know, I want to take a moment and we're going to have what's at the moment with Jake. And in talking with Jake, we're going to find out some updates about what's going on with Derek. And also, we will look and see what else we want to do here at Wellness Medicine. So, Jake. Dr. Clark. At the moment, hey. Jake. <laughs> well, well, thank you for another moment uh, here at Wellness Medicine. That was just a great segment that you had with Austin. Oh, yeah. I love his energy and his information. Yeah. It was spot on yeah. for exactly what we're doing here and support with you. And uh, so I know we were short on time with the segment, and there's some stats that uh, those that have been intervened or used the test with HDL mm -hmm. that on heart attacks were reduced by 41 percent. Oh wow! 41 percent. Wow. Using this program that yeah. you're showing, and also strokes, 17 percent. 17 percent of it decreased in strokes, and then we've been talking about diabetes and pre-diabetes, yeah. and the complications from that have been reduced mm -hmm. by uh, 15 percent. And that is just a great, great testament to what Austin's doing with HDL and the mm -hmm. programs that you brought in for wellness medicine. You know, I mean, those are really great because like I was telling, you know, Austin, I mean, sometimes I can be talking to the patients and I can see their excitement when 
they see their, their, their numbers are decreasing or they're moving into the, into the yellow and definitely the green range. So what you're telling me, the statistics you just gave me, just kind of really validates right. what it is that I'm seeing with the program. And just being able to implement, have a health coach to be able to get in there and really empower the patients to be able to take, take the responsibility of being able to do some things on their own. So jazz the lifestyle change, you know, just watching what they eat mm -hmm. and also adding the and with exercise. That, I had a, 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 con or a conversation with Austin and, you know, what, what is the biggest challenge that we're finding? And so we're in Georgia, the southern part of Georgia, so it's yeah. good old southern cooking. <laughs> yes, it is. And everybody's just been accustomed mm -hmm. to eating and that's part of the culture. Uh, and so I asked, well, you know, what is the approach that we take uh, with those patients to help them become compliant? And it's just taking that focus of, and I know you mentioned a little bit earlier, but just that one thing, you know, this, hey, let's remove uh, one thing that is a problem in your diet, uh -huh. whether it is a soda, mm -hmm. whether it is just little bit by little bit, little step little by little step. Bit. Yeah. And so that's why he's been able to relate emotionally and, and they're opening up and then they're showing that it's attainable and then they build on that success. So uh, as far as that program, uh, how it works, that's part of how it works. Fantastic. Because one of the things I'm really always encouraging patients, you know, to look at as well, we're going to be looking at your BMI, you know, mm -hmm. it's, and lowering your BMI. And I always say, well, that's a nice fancy way of saying we're going to help you be able to, you know, to lose weight or more, so I like to say, manage your weight. <laughs> so, you know, and it's just really uh, awesome to me, like I said. Most of the people I do send, send to Austin or send for the health coaching sessions, you know, really do very well. And I think the most amazing thing I find about it is that they're doing well and not necessarily so focused on like a quote unquote diet mm -hmm. um, because they're just incorporating this in what they do from day to day. So um, just awesome information. You're right on with that. And one of the patients that we've been talking about for over weeks is, is BJ. Uh -huh. And we're actually have a great update for for you today with BJ. And Fantastic! Uh, some great information, and in you know, the last few weeks he's been texting, and this week he actually sent a video, so we all get to see an update from from DJ uh, today, and we're going to show that in just a moment. Good. And uh, uh, in all the other things that are upcoming here, we're looking at putting a cardiovascular diabetes, the weight management, pre-diabetes, all of that together. So. Uh, we want participation in a 5K race. Mm -hmm. And Derek's going to be involved with on September 26th. We're shooting for that. And uh, so this is all just a wonderful thing. This is what's going on here at Wellness Medicine. And uh, we're going to go ahead and intro this video for, uh, for Derek. So excited. You read my mind. Because that's next thing I was going to question you what's happening with DJ? So, hey, let's see what we have in store. Let's check it out. Hi, YouTube. Long time no see. Um, it's your boy Derek. I have not did an update in quite a long, long time, so I felt it was overdue. Um, I am, I don't even know what week I'm in anymore. I think, I know uh, come Wednesday, come Friday, um, it'll be two months since I started my journey, and I have uh, lost a total of 23 pounds. I am so excited because each and every day it seems like my body is starting to change um, I have my CPAP so I'm sleeping now uh, so many good things have come in my life and I'm just so happy you know I'm um, right now I'm in the process of um, eating cleaner and more healthier um, I can tell my skin is improving um, I've been drinking a lot more water I'm not really um, in the mood to cheat I, I really don't have the taste bud as I as I used to have the taste of, of food that I know is not good for me is really not uh, you know bothering me like it once did I have really um, just kept praying about a lot of things in my life and I and I prayed and asked God to just you know let his will be done not my will I'm I've been doing my will for a minute and it's really not what I needed you know what I need to be doing I need to be focused on his will and I'm just in a really really happy place um, since I haven't talked to you in a while I will tell you I'm back at work I'm sleeping eight nine hours now I I mean my whole entire life is starting to improve for the better um, but I want to talk today about Kim 
Um, you might have heard of Kim before. You might have, um, you, you might be best friends with Kim. You don't even know that you're best friends with Kim. You probably heard of Kim, um, but Kim is not a, a actual person. You might have a sister or a brother. I have an auntie named Kim, but I'm not talking about a physical person. Kim stands for keep it moving. And I want you to know that no matter what come against you, you have to always remember your best friend, Kim. Sometimes it's hard to understand, you know, um, other people's perception of you. It's hard to understand um, people's um, uh, feelings towards you. But once you really know their feelings, you really know who that person is. And it's up to you to decide whether or not you're gonna stay there or you're gonna visit your friend Kim and keep it moving. So for me, I am at that place right now where I have to keep it moving. You know, I can only be me. I can only be me. I am who I am. I don't make any apologies for it. God is still working on me. You know, a lot of people forget that, you know, it's not how you start, but it's how you finish. And I am one of those people who truly believe in the word of God. And I believe that you know, God has a plan for my life. And right now I might be working at AT&T, but God has something bigger and way better for my life and, and my life's purpose. I'm not looking at my right now. I'm looking at my future and, and what God is really going to do for me. You see, a lot of people might look at me and they might say, oh, he's still this and he's still doing that. Yeah, he might be losing weight, but he still got this going on. He, he doesn't have this. He doesn't have that. Well, I don't really care what you think. I really don't. I love everybody and I, and I say that and I mean it. I really do have love for every single person on this earth, even people that do wrong in my life or, or do me wrong, my enemies, everything. You know, I really do love you. And I love you enough to know that when it's time to keep it moving, it's time to keep it moving. You know, I love you, but I have to love myself even harder. And that's not to sound, you know, uh, bolsters or it's not to sound um, too confident or cocky, but it is what it is. You know, you do you, I do me. And that goes for so many people in my life. And I'm pretty sure you have people in your life as well. It could be your boss, it could be your coworker, it could be your classmate, your, you know, a person you're in a relationship with. It could only be, it could also be your own family members. But, you know, at the end of the day, you have to pray for these people. You have to pray and ask God to help them see their true selves. And you have to ask and you have to pray and ask God to, you know, deliver their hearts from any, um, any, anything that is not of him, because at the end of the day, you are responsible for yourself. That's why God gave us free will. He gave us free will to do what we want to do, but you have to do what's right in order to make it to the kingdom. And in order for me to make it into the kingdom that a lot, that, uh, makes me have to, you know, reevaluate some things that's going on in my life. I am not perfect in no way, shape or form, but I do know that I serve a, a, a mighty God that always has my back. So imagine what I can do by just praying about everything. That's why the Bible says, pray about everything. You have to pray about everything. I mean, any and everything. So right now, I just want you to understand Kim. I want you to get to know Kim. I want her to be your best friend, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever. I want you to understand that in life, you have to keep it moving. No matter what roadblocks may come your way, if you cry, if you scream, if you yell, no matter what issues you are going through, you know, you gotta keep it moving. And you gotta go to the next chapter in your life and, and the next thing, and, and you have to continue to grow. And I'm not looking at my right now, like I said, I'm looking at my future and I'm worried about, you know, what's gonna happen to me in the future? What am I doing now to work on my future? So to all of those people that love me and support me, I thank you. I thank God for you. I pray for that. I pray that, you know, whatever your desires or needs in life, that God helps you, you know, get to where you want to be. Um, continue to please pray for me. I am going to start doing more videos uh, for accountability purposes. Uh, when I do these videos, it helps me. And so I hope that they help you as well. I love you. 
continue to grow, continue to pray, continue to think. And whatever your journey is, just know that God has a plan for you and he will always, always be in your corner. No worries, don't cry because you are a child of the most high. I love you, see you later. Oh my God. I mean, was that not awesome? Congrats, DJ. Uh, Woo! God, God love you. Absolutely. Wow. I mean, you talk about motivation. Oh, you know. Look at that. So what it was, it was 23 pounds down. So continual improvement all the time. Uh, one of the biggest things probably is to understand that it does get easier. His eating yes. habits are changing. Yes. He's not yes. craving the things yes. that are not good for him as often. The skin improves. Look at the video. You can oh. really see the skin improvement. Yeah. The glow. He has more happening. energy. I can tell he has more energy. Yeah. You know, he's looking you know, and, awesome. And so <laughs> speaking of the energy, we had we had a problem with the sleep. And yes. now he's sleeping eight to nine hours yes. a night. And yes. so of course his energy's up, he's feeling good, he's happy. And uh, not only is he back to work, but he's been <laughs> back at work for a while and he's been able to continue that and he's yes. still at work. So yes. congrats, DJ. Great job. Great job. DJ, we're real proud of you. And listen, you keep up the good work and we are still behind you 110%. And remember, you know, we're in this for the long run. We're in it for the journey. So one of the things that we want to look at with everything that we have talked about here today at Wellness Medicine is looking at these different disease processes that are plaguing not only our families, but it's plaguing our country. You know, diabetes and looking at cardiovascular disease. I hope you've really been inspired by the information you've gotten here to know that even if you have been diagnosed, that is not the end of the world by any means. Matter of fact, I tell my patients, I'm really glad when I can diagnose you here at my clinic because I know you haven't been diagnosed in a hospital and you haven't had any major events. So therefore, we have way, we are way ahead of the game as far as being able to help you implement some things that will really help you to be able to have a better health and a better life. So I am just so excited about all the things that we're doing here. And hmm, by chance, who told DJ that my best friend's name really was Kim? <laughs> I'm Dr. Jolanda Clark here at Wellness Medicine, where we are paving a pathway in medicine to build a bridge to optimal health and wellness. People we're looking for are those who want vibrant and optimal health. And we will see you next week. Check us out at wellmed.us. Again, W-E-L-L-M-E-D dot U-S. Have a great week.